GM, you degenerate bag holding apes, frogs and trips. Hope you've been ignoring all the fud, the shills and rug pulls out there and like the OG whales are hodling down, avoiding goblin town until crypto moons once more, the wazzies rejoice and we all lambo, our diamond hands filled with tendies because of course, whack me. Haven't a clue what I'm saying? Then this Eli5 A to Z of trading lingo might be handy. Let's dive in. Apes. A reference to the famous quote, Apes Together Strong, from the Planet of the Apes franchise. The reference has come to symbolize the power and limitless ambition of retail stock traders to band together and to take on the status quo, most famously exemplified in the GameStop short squeeze of January 2021. It's also become something of a verb to ape into something, meaning to take on a large trading position relative to one's own portfolio size. Bag holder. Someone who's left stubbornly or just naively holding on to an asset that's rapidly dropping in price until it's all but worthless. This is often done on the mistaken belief that the asset's price will eventually rebound when in all probability it won't. Often associated with rug pulls, which we'll get to in a little bit. Crypto. One of the most ubiquitous phrases on this list, most people will now already know that crypto is short for cryptocurrency, OVS. But what you might not know is that there's a significant portion of digital asset enthusiasts out there who don't believe crypto, plural, is actually a thing. Bitcoin maximalists believe that Bitcoin is the only decentralized asset the world requires and everything else is inferior or just a get rich quick scheme. Diamond hands, meme stock trading slang for a person who doesn't sell their investment no matter how many losses they incur, all in the belief that their patience and stoicism will be rewarded in the long run with huge gains, gains with a Z, that's very important. Alternatively and importantly, diamond hands investors may tell you that they're holding onto a depreciating asset simply because we like the stock, a once common refrain seen on social media, particularly in relation to GameStop and AMC. The opposite of diamond hands is paper hands, someone who sells their holdings at the first sign of trouble and is therefore worthy of derision and ridicule. Eli5. Finance, especially the brave new world of cryptocurrency, can be mind-bogglingly complex. So a term you'll see from time to time is Eli5. Explain like I'm five. Which is just shorthand for breaking down a topic into its simplest of terms. FUD. Crypto slang standing for fear, uncertainty, and doubt, most often used as a to-the-point dismissal of mainstream media negatively talking about cryptocurrency. GM, the crypto community are the nicest of folks, and a common greeting you'll find when you wake up across social media is GM, short for, of course, good morning. What a wholesome way to usher in a new day's trading. Likewise, GN means good night, and is used at the end of the day. HODL. As legend has it, this term was coined by a Bitcoiner who misspelled HOLD while drunk on the Bitcoin Talk forum. Nowadays, the phrase has come to be shorthand for HOLD ON FOR DEAR LIFE, said as a statement of having patience and not selling hastily in the face of cryptocurrency's infamous volatility. IYKYK. If you know, you know. Like its sister phrase, FEW, IYKYK is a way of connoting that an asset will rise in value, but most people still don't know about the opportunity yet. Both these phrases are forms of FOMO, fear of missing out, inducement where people hastily jump into a trade because they're afraid they'll miss a supposed rise in value otherwise. Keys. Keys are integral to the functionality of cryptocurrency. A public key works like an email address or phone number, allowing anyone to send cryptocurrency to your wallet. By contrast, private keys act like a password guarding your personal crypto holdings. While public keys are, as the name suggests, public, private keys must never be shared with anyone. If they are, that individual could drain your entire funds. It's common for phishing scams to try and obtain private keys. Remember, never, ever, 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 ever share them with anyone. JPOW. Seen a lot in the world of meme stock trading, JPOW is short for Jerome Powell, the current chair of the Federal Reserve. JPOW became something of an iconic, almost messiahic figure among certain traders through his successful efforts to mitigate the economic impact of the COVID pandemic in the USA and keep the stock market trending upwards which has 
somewhat fallen off a cliff recently, but we'll look past that. Lambo, an abbreviation for Lamborghini, is shorthand for wild financial success, epitomized by the type of car that many crypto fans would love to buy when their assets substantially rise in value. It's most often used in the phrase when Lambo, as a direct question asking someone about their timeline for success. Moo, one of the most common phrases you'll hear across the cryptoverse, to the moon symbolizes a cryptocurrency seeing immense success and its prices shooting so high up the charts that it seems to be heading for the moon itself. NGMI, not going to make it most often used in a self-deprecating or ironic way to highlight a bad decision relating to cryptocurrency. The opposite of NGMI is wag me, we are going to make it. An optimistic refrain to the future when all a trader's decisions come to fruition and they're finally successful. OG, original gangster. Popularized through 1990s hip hop, Today, the term is used within trading circles as a mark of respect for an individual who was involved with an asset from the very early days, long before everyone else jumped on that bandwagon. Pump and dump. Formerly known as pump and dump, these days it's just as likely you'll see it called a rug pull. Both phrases refer to schemes where investors with significant holdings in an asset deliberately hype up or shill is potential, leading to an influx of demand and increased prices, after which these investors sell all their holdings, making a tidy profit, but flooding the market in the process and leaving everyone else as bag holders, clinging to assets that are now all but worthless. Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4. More staid and steady circles of the trading world will look for quarterly earnings reports to inform their trading and investing strategies, usually abbreviated to Q1 through 4, depending on what time of year it is. Wrecked. Many words are shortened on the internet, and wrecked is no exception. Wrecked, with a T, is used to denote when one's portfolio looks like a car crash, having plummeted significantly in value. This is not a desirable state of affair for many traders, but sadly, quite a common one. Shill, the somewhat annoying habit of loudly proclaiming to all and sundry about the vast and limitless potential of a certain asset exclusively because you have a vested interest in it and therefore would like to see its price rise. At its best, shilling is done by enthusiastic but naive people who just love a particular asset However, the practice has a darker side too and is often maliciously done as part of pump and dump schemes. Tendies, meaning money or financial gain. This one has a weird and frankly really complex history, originating first from the anonymous Anything Goes Forum 4chan and later the subreddit Wall Street Bets. It's popularly believed that Tendies is short for chicken tenders and stems from old 4chan stories where grown men living with their mothers were rewarded for good behavior with good boy points, which they then redeemed for their favorite food, chicken tenders. Adopted by Wall Street Bets, the phrase was seemingly used literally at first, where trading profits actually went into buying chicken tenders, but now has become interchangeable lingo for any sort of financial gain. And I told you it was really weird. Up only, referring to the often quoted mantra that the target asset only goes up, e.g. stonks only go up. Another phrase that's in the same ballpark is buy the dip, which is an endorsement to buy an asset when the price is falling because of the perceived inevitability it will rise again in the future. The dip is thus seen as a discount for the bold rather than any sign of depreciation or failure of the asset itself. Vaporware, a crypto project or upgrade that's been heavily promoted but is still not available to trade either because it's still being written and designed or because it's some form of scam. Whale, a crypto trader with a huge holding in a given asset. Their actions have the potential to drastically change the valuation of that asset, especially in less popular cryptocurrencies. And so any movement by whales are usually closely watched. The lesser known opposite of a whale is a shrimp, denoting a small trader with very few holdings of an asset. One shrimp on its own can do nothing, but combined together, thousands of shrimp can have the same impact as one whale, sometimes even greater. 
x, denoting a percentage increase of a coin or asset, e.g. 10x, 50x, 100x, 10 million x, is often extolled by meme cryptocurrency advocates as a form of shill. YOLO, you only live once. It's become a verb to denote going all in on a trade in the hope of substantial returns. The general idea stems from the belief that life is short and that to acquire generational wealth, the ability to pay for your family's living expenses in perpetuity through your holdings, it requires massive all or nothing risks. Zero, kill the. Cryptocurrency meme coins are notoriously low in value, often worth tens of thousands of a cent. The phrase kill the zero stems from meme coin traders extolling the virtue of their cryptocurrency and reassuring others that they'll soon move up another denomination in their assets rise to become worth cents or even dollars, and therefore massively rewarding all the early investors who bought when the price was low. So what do you reckon? Was this A to Z useful and would you like us to go deeper into the weird and wonderful fringe lingo of trading and crypto culture? Let us know in the comments below and if you'd like more slang Eli 5 then we'll YOLO right into it. But that's all we have time for for now, so GN folks!